More than 2,000 years ago, the ancient Romans had already mastered advanced tunnel-building techniques. To bring spring water from the mountains into their cities, they dug hidden underground channels right through the hills. The first step in building these channels was treating the inside walls. Workers spread a layer of waterproof mortar on the rock to stop leaks, then set up wooden arches along the passage. These arches supported the tunnel, prevented collapse, and made later work and maintenance easier. The most impressive part was how Roman engineers dug the tunnels. Instead of slowly digging from one end to the other, they dug vertical shafts from the surface every few dozen meters, then started digging horizontally from the bottom of each shaft in both directions. This allowed many teams to work at the same time and greatly sped up construction. To make sure all these separate tunnel sections met accurately underground, they used tools like plumb bobs and measuring lines again and again to check the direction, keeping the water channel running in a straight line. Controlling the slope of the channel was also so crucial. If the slope was too steep, the water would rush too fast and damage the structure. If it was too gentle, the water wouldn't flow. Roman engineers used simple water-filled devices to measure height differences bit by bit, adjusting carefully so that the entire channel kept a very slight, almost invisible, downward slope. This allowed the spring water to flow steadily toward the city using gravity alone. When they came across valleys or low-lying areas where they couldn't build bridges or let the channel follow the ups and downs of the ground, they used a inverted siphon system. In simple terms, water flowed from a higher point into a sealed pipe, went down through the low area, and then, driven by pressure, rose up again on the other side. In this way, it could easily cross dips in the terrain. After passing through mountains and across valleys, the water finally gathered in a main reservoir in the city. From there, it was distributed through pipes to every corner of urban life.